Welcome back to the Caribou Data Science Channel. Today is uh, Saturday, September 19, 2020. I'm getting ready to run a, uh, another of my data reports. This is for the state of Ohio in the U.S. So let's just go ahead and pull some data here. And let's run our first report. This is the cases by day. Blue line marks the case. You can see the volatility from day to day. This could, of course, simply re reflect a, uh, a reporting cycle somehow. You know, maybe I'm not quite sure, but uh, there's still volatility. Uh, the trend line is level now a little bit here. You can see it's still spiking above 1,200 cases a day in Ohio. But also appears to be between, between Maine. A thousand, you know, it's dipping down below 800 and climbs back up. Uh, so, Ohio, it's, you know, it seems to be holding its own as far as cases. Take a look at deaths. Deaths, you can see, are trending upward clearly. This large spike here. So, that's not particularly a good situation. All right, cases. Holding level deaths climbing up somewhat per day. Let's take a look at weekly cases. Well, the good news is we did finish down for one year, down last week from the previous week for cases. Why are the dates set right here? Do I set a date at all? Let's try something else here. On 311. Let's change this. What's that called? Date created in rate or equal to 3-2. Let's run this again. This is this is a more accurate way of Let's say 310. Let's come back up here, everyone, and see what's going on. Okay. Let's take a second look here. Didn't really change anything, did it? But, now, but I think it's a little bit more accurate. Now, this says April 4th, but do we actually, okay, we actually did April 4th. Because once again, we're, we're starting with the current spike in April. Okay? Nothing really changes here then. Deaths climbing back up in Ohio seems to be following the national trend. We did finish down a little bit from last week as far as cases. But deaths continue a three week spike up, which isn't good. Monthly totals, you can see that there's a reasonable chance that Ohio may not catch its August numbers as far as as far as cases are concerned. 
Uh, deaths, monthly deaths is a little bit more uh, questionable. With 11 days ago, we can certainly hope and pray that that the, that the September death is below the August death. Stop down here. Let's take a look at which countries or which counties had the five had the most cases for the previous seven days. No surprise, Franklin is leading the pack, followed by Montgomery, Butler, Hamilton, and Cuyahoga County. What about uh, deaths? As you can see, uh, you know Franklin has actually had four deaths apparently in the last eight days, while Cuyahoga had uh, ten deaths or eight deaths in the last eight days. Now a plot of Franklin County only. You can see Franklin County cases climbing a little bit of a little bit of decline there. Deaths continue to spike up. Okay, so that takes care of Franklin County. Let's go ahead and run the final report. You know what? Let's just save a couple plots here. Let's also save the weeklies. Okay, so let's go and upload the final report up to the GitHub Studios, GitHub web pages. And this concludes the report for uh, for the state of Ohio. We'll catch you on the next report.